Our next guests, uh, Jim Sanger and Richard Brecka of Second Alpha. Welcome, guys. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Want to tell us about Second Alpha versus First Alpha? Well, the second stands for, refers to secondary investment. So we're a private equity firm. We're mm -hmm. about officially uh, two years old. And uh, we focus on uh, a, a kind of niche market in private equity, which are secondary direct investments. Secondary direct investments are where we purchase positions in private companies, private entrepreneurial growing companies, um, from other existing investors. We sometimes put a little- You take people out. We take people out. Right. And it doesn't have to be um, a you know, consolidated position. We don't need to be the majority owners. We can take rather small positions. We can take partial positions from investors. We think it's actually um, really important to the entire innovation ecosystem. So um, the alpha stands for, uh, actually refers to something as well, which is uh, the, the fact that we attempt to beat sort of the, the standard index. So we, we believe that we can return high returns for our investors through the secondary. You're, I assume you're always looking for a board position? No, we, we often have board positions. We sometimes have observer positions to boards, uh, but we, we really are kind of building a reputation as someone who is interested in the company itself first, and then we, we kind of take the position that's available. So we'll do very small positions as well, all the way up to really large positions in companies. Are there particular niches of businesses that you're looking at? Sure, uh, we focus on technology businesses. Um, it can be telecommunications, digital media, software, internet businesses, um, anything that's a fast growing business. Usually companies have over 20 million in revenue. Uh, it's a very well performing business at that point. Um, and what we're trying to accomplish is provide liquidity into the, um, to shareholders uh, so that they can continue to uh, reinvest and, and continue the innovation that really drives this country. Well, what we do is we give uh, the existing shareholder the current fair value for their, in, their shares in the company. And then we work with the company to help them plan toward an ultimate exit a couple of years down the road. Um, many times companies have not really prepared themselves uh, to, to optimize their exit. So what we do is we work with management to figure out who is the likely buyer for their company and how do they plan and execute to develop the relationships with the strategic buyers so that when the day comes they want to sell, that they get the, the best price for their business. You don't get involved with the management? You don't get involved with holding them accountable, changing management, have you? Have you had to take on, on a bigger position in the past to sort of right the ship? Well, we, Jim and I both have done this uh, as direct investors. Um, our prior careers were venture capitalists. Uh, so we've had to work with companies from all stages and, and help them develop throughout their development. Um, at this point, as a secondary investor, we're, we advise the management, but usually at this point, they're, they're pretty well established. They've got the right people in the right positions and they're growing and doing well. It's, it's now trying to get liquidity for certain shareholders so that they can take some money off the table. But, but the truth is we'll do anything that's required for our portfolio companies. So we have dropped, both of us have dropped down into CEO positions to find the next CEO. Right. We've both dropped into positions where we're recruiting or helping build out a product organization or a new product. So, uh, you know, what's a little bit old school, new school, it's a completely new model. It's a completely new, I think, area of growth for private equity. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of talk about it right now. Um, there aren't many players in the secondary direct side of this. But one thing that is very old school is that, and that we take to heart, is that different than many secondary guys who sort of think, I'm gonna buy in late and maybe I'll just hold on to it. Um, and if that's a model, we don't know how it works. We do have to become, um, we would say a value added member of that syndicate. And what is required by the other investors and by the management teams of those companies, we will try to provide if we can. So, so we are active in that regard. We believe that adding value is a key part of our model.